that history is the pathway to the soul. I know nothing about my past. These are the things I do know. My mother went missing 34 years ago. I was five. After that, my father married her sister. And three days ago, she was found dead. What's up? What? I left that small town at 21 and never looked back until now. Stepmother's death is my invitation back home. To finally look at all the things I never really wanted to see.
And she called you, right? She thought it might help you if I was here. If you don't feel comfortable with me staying here, I can stay in a motel. No, there's your old room. Come in. You look just like your mother. If memory serves, right? Still no word? No. Well, I guess we won't go there. You're Mr. A, A, and all that. It's been a long week, Kate. Besides, I only stopped drinking to please Elaine. So, what happened? I don't know. An accident, obviously. We're still waiting for the autopsy report. Maybe she had a heart attack. Or, who knows? I, I know you two didn't get on very well, but uh, she left you something. I'm afraid of it. Oh, come on, Kate. She's gone. Leave her alone. You're right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> she left me a house? Yeah, I thought that place had been torn down. A memory that's hazy, hiding, that teases and flirts. But when you reach out for it, for resolution, for peace, to breathe easy for once, well, that's the devil. And the devil is everywhere here, in this house, in that old man. I can feel my soul rubbing against the sharp edges of bad feelings. This place feels dead, from the outside in. That's the autopsy report. Okay. You didn't need to come to work today. Just keeping busy, Jack. Uh, Matt's taking care of Elaine's paperwork. Why? Right, what do you mean? Come on. Kate's back. Sorry. Kate, I just wanted to see if you were up. I'm up. How did you sleep? Pretty good until about 10 seconds ago. Um, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Was everything okay between you and Elaine? Why? There's your clothes, her makeup, and... Well, it just looked like she was sleeping in my bedroom. Unless that's just an old people's thing. Yeah. I snore. Okay. So, um, 
So you are the servants? No, okay. Well, there she is, finally. Hi, Puddin. Hi, Cookie. Mm. <laughs> so good to see you. Good to see you. How'd it go with your dad? Oh, you know, awkward, mm -hmm. strange, frustrating, awkward some more. Same old, same old, nothing changes, except he looks old. Well, so do we. Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you two finally buried the hatchet and the house in Mirville. How do you know that? Did Dad tell you that? Yeah, I think he, I think he, I don't know, I don't know how I know. It's just, I'm Kreskin, right? You must be. <laughs> well, the food's almost ready, but let's say we have a couple of drinks before we go. Please, libations for the libations. Yeah, some liquid courage. Here you go, my lady. Thank you. I brought up the good stuff for you. Oh, straight from the box and into the bottle? You remember my tricks, huh? I think that was my trick. <laughs> I think you did teach me that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Patty, come here. I want you to say hi to someone. Patty, get your tight ass over here. Let me see her. Oh. Oh, she's beautiful. It's gorgeous. How are you? What do you care? Okay, that's the way it's gonna be. Yeah. You know, the baby's daddy's getting out of prison soon, like a month. Gonna be on probation, which is good, so he can go see her again and everything. She doesn't need to hear any of that, okay? It's none of her goddamn business. Kate doesn't want anything to do with me since she quit playing stepmom. I'm here now. We could talk. Between you and my daughter, there's an awful lot of shit flowing in here. Hey. Watch your mouth. Okay, I'm going upstairs to get changed. Ouch. Am I bleeding? You get mad at the ones you love. No, oh, is that it? You know her mom's still in prison for that whole hillbilly heroin thing, right? Dad's never stopped with the booze. She still talks about those two years with you as her family years. Yeah, well, I refer to those years as my satanic years. Mm -hmm. So glad I got out of that. Yeah, you know, I envy you, Kate. The whole going to university and the freedom, the money, men who wash their hair daily. Oh, yeah, it's a perfect life. Well, and me, the queen of my poor dad's greasy dreams. Sorry, Daddy. But you look good. <laughs> now, you want fries with that, miss? We are here today to honor the life of Elaine Mason. Please rise. Join me in reciting the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Please be seated. Now do a reading from John 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. I think trying to change destiny is a lost cause. I came here to find the truth. But no matter how hard I try to find it, the universe never gives me what I want. But it does give me what I need. Well, I thought it was a lovely service, as far as services go. Short and sweet. I don't know, it's all a bit weird to me. I mean, what was she doing by the river at night? And if it was suicide, why didn't oh, she leave a note? Oh my god, Kate, she drowned, okay? She drowned. 
Just went there to, I don't know, think or something. We used to go to her neck. <sighs> what I think is weird is that she left your family place. Don't you think that's strange? What I think is strange is she left me half of the family place, and my mother owns the other half. What am I going to do with half a house in Muraville? I don't know. So, um, how's Joe taking it? I have no idea. He hasn't said a word to me. Thank you for coming. Here? Oh. Trying to get me drunk, sailor? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah. How are you? I don't know. Something feels weird. Why was Elaine alone by the river at night? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. I'm gonna be right back one more, okay? Let's talk dinner. Okay. Oh, what a day. I'm so happy it's almost done. I gotta get out of here. Yeah? Where are you going? I don't know. Well, do you want some company? No, I'll just call me every five minutes. so crazy after all i've been uh, asked to investigate and uh, death is considered possible foul play really i mean she might have slipped fallen and hit her head that's well that's one theory mm-hmm and the other that someone smashed her head i mean she was semi-conscious in the water that three to five seconds between when she was when she was standing and drowning right that's just where all the lines of logic start to get blurry Reasonable doubt. Who would want to kill Elaine? Wait, wait, no, no. It's just... It's just a theory, right? I'm investigating the causes. It's just suspicious, that's all. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Thought you should know. Thank you. Right. Hey, Matt. Yep. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Is there something going on between my dad and Angie? What do you mean? I mean, is there something going on? Uh, uh, no, no. No? No. You sure? I'm not sure, but I, no. Okay. Okay, anyway, um, don't tell anyone what I said about the investigation, because I can get some serious trouble. No, me. of course not. I won't. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Hey. Brought coffee. Great. I'm just cleaning up. Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't been in here for forever. Oh, hmm. oh look how little this is. Oh my God. Check it out. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look how wow. cute we were. And you were wearing that necklace your dad gave you right before a stroke. Hmm. You used to wear that all the time. How come you don't wear it anymore? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's too precious, you know? Hmm. You were like eight when your dad died. Nine, actually. The start of me getting stuck in the family business. Hmm. Oh, my God. I think this is my mother's stuff. Kate, are you okay? Why is her stuff here? <laughs> 
Oh, maybe she didn't want it. Well, why is my dad keeping it here? I don't know. Look, you look like you need some time, hey? I gotta go to work anyway. So, okay. I'm gonna call you later. What's that? Is this you being a smart cop or a controlling father? There's more inside. You know, when I was a kid, I thought you were trying to protect me. That you didn't want me to go into your workshop because you didn't want me to hurt myself. You were a clumsy kid. No, you just didn't want me to find what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you had this stuff? You should have been a cop. The only reason I kept your mother's things was for you. But I asked you, Dad. I asked you a fucking hundred times, is there anything of a mom's I can have? Anything as a keepsake or memory? Anything? You saw me after she left, how screwed up I was, and you decided it was a good idea to hold off on giving me a little comfort. Calm down, Kate. I will not calm down. Why are you such a fucking asshole, Dad? Why didn't you tell me about this stuff? Because I didn't think you'd appreciate it when you were a kid. That's why. A kid? Well, how old did you think I needed to be? I'm 40 fucking years old, Dad. Did you think I needed to be decomposed old or dust old? Look, I have work to do, OK? Why won't you talk to me about this? Fuck. There is nothing to talk about. I should have just burned everything. I will fucking burn it. Burn everything. It's all over anyways. All the hopes, all the reasons for getting out of that cold fucking bed every lousy day of my life. I am so tired of all this. Burn it. I'm just going to burn all of it. And when it's burned, I will light myself on fire. Fuck it. Frank, I know things you should know. Yeah, I'm sure you do, Frank. But you know it's not real, right? It's all part of some ethanol-fueled dream, so...
as I can tell, Elaine left me half the property and the other half to my mother. Is that right? That's right. So what are my options? You have three. OK. You can abandon the inherited property, let the back taxes accumulate until the city of Muraville seizes the property, find your mother and have her sign the appropriate papers, report her as missing, or have her declared presumed to be dead. It's a complicated legal procedure. It takes extensive investigation, affidavits, lawyers. You think she's still alive? I don't know. After 35 years, I don't know. To sell the house Elaine left me, I either need to find mom or declare her missing or dead. Pleasant, huh? How come you didn't tell me about this before? Do you see a law degree on the wall? Anyway, because I was already going to Muraville to check out the house, I thought I could stop by and take a look at the county records, start the missing persons protocol legally so I can eventually sell the house. <sighs> Katie, you're wasting your time. I tried to find her. And I am, when last I checked, a sheriff. She's far away. New name, new life. So I'm pretty sure about that. Well, listen. Do it. Good luck, and uh, keep me posted. I will. I'm wondering if you can help. Is there a registry or a website that could help me track down a resident of Muraville going back at least 35 years? Oh, great. Yes, her name is Iris Marley Mason. She was born October 25th, 1950. Okay, okay, she had a P.O. box. I'll just take that down. Great. Well, thank you very much. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. My mom had a box number here, and I'm wondering if she still has it. I'll need some identification in the box number. Okay. What's the name? Her name's Mason. Iris Mason. This is me. And the box number is right here. Let's see. Well, this is strange. The two receiving names were Iris Mason and Danny Gower. But the only key holder was Joe Mason. Looks like all the invoices were paid for by Joe Mason, and he collected the mail. Joe Mason paid for everything? Do you know who Danny Gower is? No, no idea. Is there anybody else I could talk to who might have worked here back then? Miranda, but it's her day off. I could have her call you. That would be great. Great. That 
That's my number. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for all your help. Bye. Have a good day. Still having my breakfast. Uh, no. Well, sit down. I'll make you some eggs. No, no. Can we go inside? Okay. Don't touch this. No, I won't touch it. What was that about? Frank told Matt he saw somebody at the Elaine the night she died. Hmm. Check in. Glad you did. So I hear you're filling out the missing persons paperwork for your mom. Did my dad tell you that? Nah, no comment. <sighs> wow. You know, there's this tribe in the Sudan, the Nuba, if memory serves, that takes the fathers of the tribe and buries them alive after their first daughter gets married. And your point is? Want to get married? Um, actually, I think we already are married. You're right. We are. Grade three. Recess. Yeah, the boys trapped me, pushed me into that little uh, alcove out in the yard. <laughs> and the girls did the same to me. And you bought me a ring. <laughs> I did. And um, it cost me about a month's allowance. And I still have it. <laughs> well, anyway, I was just calling to check in. Call me. Every five minutes. Sure. Hey, so I saw what's left of the house. Hey, hey, hey. Am I interrupting something? Uh, no, no, we're done. Is Angie there? Yeah, we're just gonna have some dinner. You do that a lot? She just stopped by with some takeout, Kate. She's gonna help me pack up Elaine's things. Give Angie a big hug and a big kiss for me. Goodbye. Finished packing the stuff from the basement too, Ange? Yeah, yeah, almost done. Don't uh, touch or even look at my notebooks or my mother's clothes on my bed. Okay? 
Why don't you take it easy, Kate? I'm just trying to help. I know, and it's really annoying. So why don't you go fuck yourself instead of my dad? Oh, that was nicely done. I think she'll survive. Oh, Christ. Why don't you ask me about Muraville? I'm completely exhausted, Dad. But you're fine, right? I mean, you're completely cool. At some point, you might want to think about actually grieving Elaine. Not that I care, but a tear shed here and there might actually help sell you as a human being. I mean, you'd think that Elaine's murder would be driving you crazy. What do you mean, murder? Who said anything about murder? The investigation is still open, for Christ's sake, Kate! Jesus. Aren't you gonna say anything? Like what? Dad, you and Angie are having an affair and I had to find out for myself. She should have told me. Maybe she didn't know how to tell you. Did you ever think about that? Well, then someone should have told me. Just like your mother. You didn't look very hard for her, did you? Then you started sleeping with her sister, and now you're sleeping with my friend, who is a lot younger than you, by the way. You don't know everything. No, obviously not. I'm not sure Iris even loved me. Why would you say that? When you were young, your mother left us for a year. That's when I started calling Elaine, just to check on which bar your mother was at, on, on which night. And then our conversations just, I don't know, just turned into us talking, and... Then we decided to meet. And that's when you started sleeping together? It was companionship. Now, when your mother came back, we stopped. But Iris had been gone for a year, and... Elaine and I developed some... strong, whatever... feelings. I was in love with Iris. And Elaine ended up getting married. It was only after the divorce she came looking for me. When did you and Mom get a divorce? Long time ago. Well, so you, you knew where she was? She had to sign the papers. No. I didn't know where she was. But Elaine and I wanted to get married, so I forged Iris' signature. I didn't have a choice. You know, I keep hoping I'm gonna find Mom. And it never happens. Your mother was the most beautiful, funny, brilliant woman I ever met. Her eyes were so alive. <laughs> I felt like we could just get lost together. I thought she was perfect. I loved her more than life. I still love her. 
Every man she ever met instantly fell in love with her. And occasionally, she would love them back. Maybe for some people, beauty is a burden. You look just like her, Kate. as soon as the customers leave. So sick of taking care of everyone. Come on, grow up. Get your head in the game. Angie, get off my fucking back. You're not my goddamn mother, so you don't get to tell me what to do. Besides, as long as I do the opposite of what you do, I'll be fine. If you want to keep yelling at me, you can do it later, because I'm going upstairs to check on the baby. Hello? Patty, for you. Hey, Patty. Uh, yeah, we can meet. Um, do you want to come over here tomorrow morning? Okay, see you then. Were you with Angie the night Elaine died? Yes. You're such an asshole. It's complicated, Kate. Try me. Elaine didn't want to have sex anymore. We came to an agreement. Well, very modern of you. Oh, you're smoking. Um, I'll just grab a sweater. So how's the little one? Fine. So I just want to apologize. For the other day when you got here? That's okay. A hundred years ago, I was young and angry too. And maybe also an apology for hating you my whole life? Just your whole life? Not more? <laughs> I was so young when you left. And it just felt like. After that, my life just stumbled, you know? And then you completely forgot that I existed. That's not true. 
I kept tabs on you through Angie. How do you think you got the apartment after the baby? Who do you think paid the rent? Or got you that job at the diner? Look, Patty. I have my own life. And you're not my kid. I didn't have a baby. I didn't do that. I never felt ready, and I didn't even know if I wanted one. But if I... If I hurt you, I am truly sorry. You know, when my mom left, my whole world changed. I stopped trusting everyone and everything. And I pay for that. Every day. I'm so glad you said that. Is that the budding sadist in you, or do you mean <laughs> that? No, no, I just... I'm just glad I'm not the only one. Where you been? You're supposed to start an hour ago. Can I have a cup of coffee? Yeah. Listen, about yesterday. My head is spinning lately, and I didn't mean to be so harsh. Heard Patty came to see you. She was with you during those formative years, right? Guess that's where she picked up running away when the going gets tough, huh? Oh, I thought we'd put the daggers away. Okay. Since we're taking final swipes, you shouldn't talk since you're sleeping with my father. Joe and me, I mean... What do you want me to say? Just meet me halfway. I know this is weird for you, Kate. I know. But... You, you can't help who you fall in love with. You're home early. I'm just here for a minute, but uh, I thought you might like this. What's this? Your mother wore them the day we met.
me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so happy to see you. What's going on? Angie just lost her fucking shit on me. I swear to God, she's losing her fucking mind. She just went ballistic on me, accusing me of stealing some goddamn necklace. I have no idea what the fuck she's talking about. You know I love her. I just... What? What's going on? Kate, I know. I know we have our problems or whatever, but I just... I'm so fucked. I don't know what else to do. I gotta get out of here. I gotta start over. I just... Can you take me and Tammy with you and you go back to the city? Please, please just take us with you. You're just running away from your problems if you leave this place. I mean, I'm the queen of doing that. It never works. Okay. Great. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. Thank you, Kate. Patty. I'll just stay in this shithole fucking town for the rest of my life. Thank you for that. Thank you. Patty. Yeah, no, thanks. Thanks a lot. Patty? Yes? Yes, is this Kate Mason? Yeah. This is Miranda Megan from the Muirville Post Office. Oh, hi. Do you want to arrange to meet? Miranda? You look just like your mother. Oh, really? Oh, I'm Kate. Oh, well, we've already met. But you were just out of bonnet and booties. Oh, so you... You knew my mom? Oh, yes. We were kindred spirits, we were. <laughs> but I, uh, lost track of her. How is she? I really don't know. I'm sorry, are, are, are you worried about your mother? Um, yes and no. My mom disappeared about 35 years ago. Disappeared? Mm -hmm. Do you know who this is? This is handsome Danny Gower. Quite the bad boy he was. Sort of a Steve McQueen heartthrob type. When you said that your mother disappeared, I, uh, as soon as Danny laid eyes on your mother, they were off faster than Horace Nighty, if you'll pardon my French. No worries. I would have run off with him myself. But she wasn't a bad person, Kate. We had a lot of heart to heart. She just wanted to be happy. We all did. And Danny made her happy? He did, for a while. About a year later, though, she showed up eight months pregnant without Danny. She stayed with me and my mom until she had the baby, a little boy. So I have a brother? Oh, no. He died in childbirth, which was devastating. She was heartbroken by the loss. We all were. Why don't I know any of this? My father doesn't tell me anything. Kate. Memories can bring a family together or tear it apart. It's human nature to want to escape the things that are painful, no? Hmm. You should have been a therapist. <laughs> your mom did go back and live with your dad for a few months after the baby died. But then Danny showed up again, all flash and pheromones. I remember calling over there. Your father was so upset. And he told me that Iris had run off again. And I just figured that she and Danny had really decided to make a go of it because I never heard from her again. And a few months later, your dad came into the post office wanting to set up this mailbox for Iris and Danny, which I thought was very strange at the time. But he said that things were pretty civil between them. Iris and Danny were living in Mexico. He'd agreed to rent this mailbox, so they had a local address. My family is insane. 
She loved you, I'm sure. Well, she had a piss poor way of showing it. Pardon my French. So do you ever see my dad? No. I thought about asking him how to get in touch with Iris, but oh, by then, so much time had gone by. I figured if she wanted to get in touch with me, she would have. Hello, I'm wondering if you can help me. I'm looking for a Danny Gower. He's probably in his 60s. Why are you calling about Danny? I'm sorry to bother you. I'm looking for my mother. She was friends with Danny a long time ago. I thought he might know where she is. I'm afraid I can't help you. And neither can Danny. He was murdered. I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Some hikers found him down by the swamp about 10 years ago. But he'd already been dead for much longer. I'm sorry to bother you. Thank you for your help. This guy, Danny, who turns out to have been my mother's boyfriend, was murdered. Okay. And my father kept a mailbox for them for years. Yeah, but what, what does that mean? Okay, uh, is he hoping that she come back? Maybe. Or maybe he was trying to keep tabs on her. I really don't know. Maybe there's something that, uh, that's uh, still in the mailbox. I already thought of that, Holmes. And my father discontinued the mailbox years ago. Oh, my God. Pretty good team. No, 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 don't get that. Get don't. No, no, just leave it. Hold on, hold on, just a sec, just a sec. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. No, I'll be right there. What? Andrew's missing. 
call the diner. There's no answer. Matt, you go and see if she's there, and I'll head home. Oh, grab the guys in the no, 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 no. What? The necklace you found by the river. That's Angie's. And I told her that. She panicked and bolted. Angie's arm. Yeah, go for Matt. Hear me? Angie, what are you doing? What are you doing with my gun? Angie. Shut up, Joe. Put the gun away, Angie. Okay, Matt, I'll handle this. Hey, Matt, um, put your gun down. Do what she says, Matt. Okay. Uh, this is enough, Angie, look. Give me the gun. I have to take you down to the station. Just because my necklace was there doesn't mean... You shouldn't say another word. We need to get you an attorney. Look, look, if you didn't kill anybody, you're going to be fine. I don't want to go uh, to the station. I want to tell you the truth. Um, Elaine, uh, wanted me to end it with Joe, and I just, um, met her there to talk. Just to talk. And things got physical. It was muddy, and she slipped. So. It was the way she felt. I tried to help her, but... She was gone. It's time to tell all the secrets. Now open the safe, Joe. No, you, you, you shouldn't be doing this, Angie. Open the fucking safe, Joe. All right. women who do crazy things when they're in love. These are the letters I wrote to mom. You told me you sent them. Where is mom? I know about Danny. You'll never understand. I wanted to protect you. You were so... You were so little. You were so tiny. Tell her the truth, Joe. Danny. Danny showed up again. He wanted to get back with Iris. I was okay with that if that's what she wanted to do, but she swore to me that they were done. I came home early. You're coming with me! No, I'm not! I 
said you're coming with me! Harris, what the hell's going on? What the hell are you doing? Shut up! Put the gun down! This isn't the way to handle this! Iris is coming with me. You cheat on me again? I know I messed up. I already said I was sorry. Iris, come with me. It's your last chance. Put the fucking gun down! Sorry, Danny, it's over. She died. Why didn't you report it? There was only a cop around here at the time. I was going to tell it to. <laughs> Both shot with my guns in my house. And what would have happened to you? Why didn't you tell me? I was I was just trying to hold everything together, Kate. I I never wanted you to know about any of this. So. Where's Mom? Near the riverbank. Near the riverbank. Angie, come on now. Come on, give it up. Give it up. Come on. Come on, give me. Give me, give me the gun. It's all right. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Patty. I was hoping you'd stay a bit longer. No, I gotta go, Dad. Mm -hmm. You could come and visit me sometime. Yeah, maybe. You are so stubborn. You know that? Like father, like daughter. Jill just went down my spine.
making some new memories without that fog of darkness hanging over us. <laughs>